I'm Tom Adams, uh, owner and operator of Mexico Beach Charters. I live in actually Port St. Joe, and uh, I am the uh, Forgotten Coast Chapter president of the Forgotten Coast Chapter of the Recreational Fishing Alliance. Along the Panhandle in the Gulf here, we have, I mean, our our seasons affect our economy in such a way that now that we've gone from an eight-month snapper season to a you know a 40-day snapper season or a 46-day snapper season, it's it, it affects everything from the uh, I mean especially the charter boat guys, but right on down the line to the you know all the business owners, hotels, restaurants, I mean just all the way. I mean they sell more gas, they they rent more rooms. The, all the people here work more when the seasons are longer, and we're seeing more snapper here than we've ever seen. And it's every year the seasons get shorter. It's just Noah just doesn't have a clue. Um, as far as fisheries management, Congress could really help uh, here at the Gulf, especially by getting involved with Noah and trying to change the Magnuson Stevens Act, which is what's holding back, according to most of their their people what's holding back them allowing us to fish longer seasons. And we are glad that we have Steve Sutherland out there campaigning for us. The first, probably the first congressman we've had that has really stepped up to the plate and done anything. Uh, he's going out on a limb. I mean, he's fighting, you know, big government. He's fighting NOAA. He's fighting the Gulf Council. He's fighting everything. And it's, uh, you know, probably put a target on his back. But uh, it's nice to have somebody that's actually working for the uh, thinking about how fisheries affect the economy of Florida. As the uh, president of the Recreational Fishing Alliance here on the Forgotten Coast, you know, in all we have over 55,000 members and, and some of the best legislation being passed this year. Um, it's just been uh, amazing what Steve has done and uh, a lot of other congressmen are, are, going, are following with him and, it, and it's great for Florida. And it's going to be great for the economy of Florida. It's going to be great for all the fishermen. I mean, recreational fishermen drive Florida. They come here on vacation every year. And uh, this is what keeps us going. Um, unfortunately, with Steve and the other congressmen introducing this legislation, they're getting attacked by a very small minority of fishermen, mainly commercial guys that, uh, that were given all the quota when they went to catch shares here in the Gulf. Now it's... it's uh, there's maybe 10, 15 percent of the fishermen are attacking Steve, especially because he's been leading this fight, and it's uh, unfortunate for him, and it's unfortunate for all of Florida because there's it's all, all unwarranted, and uh, it's uh, you know I just really really want to thank Steve Sutherland for for standing out and uh, you know sticking his neck out and going against the big guns at NOAA and the and and letting everybody know in the government that the situation needs changing. It's the first one that's ever stood up for the fisheries and for the economy of Florida here in the, in the panhandle. 